we have seven inverter. It's 140 kilowatts uh, delivery peak. Right now it's 300 kilowatts hour for the battery storage. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Hello, hello guys. I'm here with Marianne. In this video, we are going to present you the new project we are working on. Marianne? Yes? Please, <laughs> okay. have the word. <laughs> okay, it's a new project. It's a 150, uh, 40 kilowatts uh, deliver, the power to deliver, pick one. We have seven inverter. Each one uh, has uh, 20 kilo. It's off grid and on, on grid also. If you want to be off-grid, it's off-grid. If you want to be on-grid, it's on-grid. A hybrid. And this, uh, we, we uh, pre-cable all the thing uh, in our warehouse. We configure the thing. When you go to the client, to be a uh, very, very easy task for us. So we, uh, we have a quick installation. So yes, that's why we pre-wire everything here. We test everything, put yes. it together. Then after we make uh, after we make the test and everything works okay, we ship it. And the customer, we need to be really fast with the installation. Yes, because in the past we have some uh, trouble uh, with the client schedule. Mm -hmm. On the this hour to this hour, don't interrupt the power. And we need to work a little short time to, to fix the problem. Okay, and so that's why we manage this here. That's why we choose, uh, we choose this yes. option. Mm -hmm. choose okay, this so option. We, we got the inverters here, the batteries are going to be there, and yes. here... The power distribution box. We have two contactors. Mm -hmm. This one is for ATS, automatic transfer switch. If the power goes down, this can switch to different uh, power stage. We have also pre-wired the customer needs for the fuses. He has three plugs because he has three charging station. We also prepare for that to be very easy and very quick to set up the, in the customer area. Um, we simulate the space of the client here in our warehouse mm -hmm. to, to put everything in place, disassemble here, assemble there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously we are not filming from the actually beginning because the guys already build this and yes. the uh, inverters are already mounted on the panels, yes. but we still have plenty of uh, work to do. Yes. And pre-wire. Yeah, pre-wire everything. Pre so that's the next step. Yes. I guess. Okay. This is the PV box. Here we'll have all the entrance of, uh, of strings from the PV panels and also the SPD for uh, short circuit or safety safety reasons and now we start to rewiring this, this box. Okay, so we finished the PV box, we mount it on the panel. Now we connect all the strings to the, to the inverters. We made some cable management. This is only almost half of it. We also started to connect the AC. Here we have AC loads, the output of the inverters. We choose to a cable with five wires, 5G6. Uh, six millimeter square because the output of the inverter is 32 amps so we choose this and we'll continue also with the AC grid which will be it will be 5G10 because this can take from grid 58 uh, eight amps so this will be the next step to to pre-wire every every inverter with uh, AC grid and AC, AC load which will be connected in, uh, in, the, in the AC box.
I'm gonna skip filming pre-wiring of the remaining three inverters because it's basically the same process that you've uh, watched. And then we're gonna bring uh, the batteries in, which are going to be fitted in this support here. And I think this is a really interesting part of the whole system because the whole battery is actually made out of four battery packs from Tesla cars. Of course, they are modified. They have some custom made BMS and connections. I don't know much about it, but we're gonna talk with Paul once we bring them in and once they are ready. And then the boys will do the connections between the batteries and the whole system. And that's gonna be interesting as well. So we got the batteries fixed in place. Okay, yeah. that's their final uh, position, if I can say so. Yeah. This is the final position. We fix them on the rack. We finish with the wiring inside of the, the battery. Yeah. We fix also the canal cable. Uh, now Ma we have Mariano and he works uh, on uh, uh, cables. We make the connection between the inverters to, to the battery. Also, the next step will be to make the, con the communication. Mm -hmm. We have to, to make the communication between uh, the batteries and inverters and also with, uh, with the, the AC, AC box. Next step will be to, to connect AC, AC grid and AC load to, to the AC box. Uh, we finish with the PV connections on the last three inverters. We done some uh, battery connection but uh, unfortunately we don't have uh, more cable we have to wait for more cable to connect the last uh, battery pack so what I'm doing here it's connecting the AC grid to the AC box we have some clamps here so it's easy for us to connect directly here and uh, we have connection to, to the inverters. I'm here with Paul, he's the mastermind behind the battery part of the system, right? Okay. Okay, if you want to call mastermind, my head just inflated a bit. <laughs> okay, so we have everything wired. Yes. Everything is connected. Yes. What? The batteries are, basically those are Tesla Model S or X battery packs, and we modify them in order to have two output connectors. From factory, they have only one huge one because the cars needs huge power here we don't plus a connector for communication uh, communication to the sofa batteries okay so what are we going to do now since we got everything connected so uh, since everything is connected except the battery to the inverter because we want to check the battery first every, check that everything behaves the way we expect it to be then check that we have the all the double check that we have all the polarity correct because if you reverse plus minus uh, it's an expensive mistake to make and you should only make it once it happened to many people and it's bad so that's why we have this procedure we know the pinout where is plus minus on the battery we know where plus minus is there we will power up the battery check that we have the proper polarity uh, double check that the batteries they have a in order to consume less and to be less stressful on the 12 volt system we have a sequencing action uh, which we have to check and before all that we check that we have 12 volt in the communication connector so we're going to basically start up the system yes actually and check it yes for first the step, first time check the batteries so first power up of the battery side 
So now we should have the battery monitoring system that will fire up in sequence. First one, first one. now in four seconds. Second one, four seconds later. This one. And one second, this one. Down part now. This one. Ah. Okay. I guess. Now we just have to measure the if we have high voltage have, on every line. Yep. And we should be set. Yep. So that's one one. 316, that's battery one. Uh, one, two. Two, okay, we're good. Okay. But ba ba top battery works. Yep. Second bat, I have millivolts. Wait. Okay, no. So this one, the Double second check on the other one. Nope. No. Okay, okay, so I have a th okay, situation with battery two. Okay. I have millivolts. What? Check again on the first one. Yeah, here I have 316, okay. Okay. This one. okay. I have millivolts, so we have a situation on battery. Three. Okay. 315. Okay. So this one works. This one's okay. And this one works. Okay, so we okay. have two and thing. three. Oh, and two have and battery three. So we found the problem of Battery number two. It didn't have the pyro fuse installed. Probably our supplier removed it for shipping. So what we just found out is that uh, one of the economize, external economizer circuits that we are using is not functioning proper. Meaning one contactor doesn't close which if we have one on the plus, one on the minus, if one of them doesn't close, we don't have our high voltage, which is bad. So we will replace that and should be fine. This is all, my, all pretty much prototyping. That's why we are doing it here and not at the customer. This is, I think, the second system with a high voltage battery where we try to reuse the full battery pack before that, we used to open those battery packs, get the Tesla modules that you may have seen uh, before. Otherwise, Christy will include some B-roll. It was a lot more work for the same capacity. Here we have 75 kilowatt hour per layer. And now, if we check, we should have 264, which is what we, the BMS said. Yeah. We're good. Perfect. So we need to go back to the procedure of checking everything. Well, at least uh, inverter two and three battery connections because we fixed the battery problem. Now we can double check that the plus minus are where they are supposed to be. Turn everything off again and then power up the inverters. And that will be fun because it takes a while to program. <laughs> okay, we should be good. 264. Mm -hmm. Minus 264. Yeah, because I, I remember. So it's 332. Alright, good. Let's check the last one. one. 315. Okay. We can turn off the 12 volt, plug in the inverters, set and set them up. All right. Now we can turn back on and all four on the inverters on the top should power up. English. So yesterday we were troubleshooting the system 
And this morning we came back with a fresh mind and we found out that one of the um, inverters has had a wrong phase rotation, meaning I think neutral and a phase was reversed. No, so phase one and phase three was reversed. Phase one and phase three were reversed. And so because the labels are very small and the way the, the plugs are done here, they are kind of complicated to assemble. And so we found out this problem, which was causing the situation with all inverters turning off the lights and turning off the whole electricity for this part of the building, which is bad. But now we understand the problem, so we fixed it. So now everything works. We even have five solar panels on the building, which we hooked up to, to one of the inverters to charge the battery. So for testing, we charged the batteries overnight, which worked perfectly. And to confirm that everything was working, we have those two electric heaters, 15 kilowatt a piece. And so we just turn them on full blast, which makes it sit why I'm in a t-shirt and we're in the middle of February. And so we tried on grid, off grid, switching between them two and everything works fine. Okay, so I guess we are ready to unpack everything and ship it? Yes. So we got everything packed and ready to ship. We took everything out apart from the batteries, which we are trying now to place in a proper position so we can pick them up with a forklift because as you probably have figured, they're quite heavy. So we need to pick them up with a forklift, load them on the truck along with everything else and we're gonna ship them to the customer. That's our system. They are Yay. the, this, <laughs> these guys made this thing happen. <laughs> and of course, and of course with the rest of the team, the salesman and everybody which was involved. It's a great project. We're gonna end this video here. Okay. And we're gonna make the second and the final part with the installation from the customer. So all of us will go there in the next days and that's gonna be a whole separate video. Anything else you gotta say, guys? You wanna it's say? Fri it's Friday? It's Friday! On vacation! Friday.